Hello everyone, in the past I've made videos about comparing different Voron versions and videos about my favorite mods for Vorons. Well today I'm going to do sort of the both, but the theme is it's about 3D printers for ants. So tiny 3D printers. Uh, yeah, you can find that in this URL, 3D printers for ants, I'll link it in the description below. And uh, yeah, as the name implies, all of these 3D printers are tiny. And most of these are actually mods to the Voron Zero. Some of them are scratch builds as well. And yeah, I'm just going to go over the various printers available on here. But I should mention that these keep getting updated and new ones keep getting added. So uh, for most up-to-date information, just check the link in the description below. Anyway, I'm going to start with the Double Dragon and I'll go through the list here, but I will jump to uh, certain scratch builds when talking about certain Voron Zero mods as well. And you'll understand why. But uh, yeah, I'm starting with the Double Dragon because it's the first item on this list. And this is a modification for the Voron Zero. And what it does is it adds another toolhead to the Voron Zero and turns it into an IDEX 3D printer. If you don't know what IDEX is, it's an uh, independent toolhead. So uh, these both of these toolheads can move independently. That means you can print multiple objects at the same time or you can print with multiple materials at the same time. And another advantage of this approach for multi-material 3D printing is uh, you don't have to worry about hot end temperatures not matching each other. So you can print something uh, that's higher temperature and something that's lower temperature into the same part. And uh, it's great for that, but also uh, IDEX printers are more tricky to tune because you have to make sure that both of these tips of the nozzles are at the exact same spot, exact same offset from the bed and from the home location of the gantry. So. They are a bit more tricky to tune, but uh, it is possible to do so. And I believe this printer has printed before, even though the pictures on the repository are renders. Well, actually, no, there we go. And uh, yeah, you can see it built here and yeah, just a uh, brass and copper PLA print here. This is something I want to build on the channel eventually, maybe soon, maybe not so soon, but this is something I want for the channel for sure. I like these tiny 3D printers, I'm sure they'll be a nightmare to build because even the Boron Zero is a nightmare to build but once they're built, just like how I like my Boron Zero, I'm sure I'll like this printer as well and uh, some of the other 3D printers in the list that I'm considering as well. Uh, in these pictures you can see the bed is kind of small though, you can actually make this wider than the, the how it is right now so you're supposed to get a larger bed for this but obviously a lot of these are just uh, one person working on these uh, mods or scratch builds so uh, it takes a while for them to do so so uh, you know just, just again check the link in the description below that will be the most up-to-date information but uh, yeah for now this looks like a very promising project and this is the size that's something i want to build and even in its current state i think this is something i'm interested in building even with this bell path in mind i think it will work uh, well enough so yeah, it's by Zirancho, by the way, he's also a designer of a few of the other 3D printers as well that we will talk about. But uh, moving down the list, there is also the Crucible. The Crucible, again, a mod for the Voron Zero. What it does is it adds two more lead screw motors and adds the same 3D screw leveling system that the Voron Trident uses. There's also another project that's similar to the Crucible, that's a scratch build, the Salad Fork. So uh, yeah, the difference is the salad fork, as I said, is a scratch build. It's still a tiny 3D printer, but it's designed to be built from scratch, which means every single part is chosen for this project versus the Crucible, which is a modification of the Voron Zero, which means it's designed to use the minimal part necessary to convert that to the uh, ideal in mind. But uh, overall, these projects are very similar, as I said, because they are trying to achieve the same thing. So if you have a Voron Zero, the if you want something like this as well, that is, uh, the Crucible would probably be the better option because it's just a modification of the War on Zero. You'll need less parts to do so. If you're building from scratch and you're sure you want the uh, Tridentness in a small form factor, then the Solid Fork is the way to go. So, again, both of those are a good option. And uh, yeah, you can see the GitHub page of the Crucible here and the Solid Fork. Uh, you can find more information on these pages like the bomb, etc. But not going to go over those in this video. Uh, moving down the list, there is the F0. The F0 is a tiny Voron 2. That is a mod of the Voron 0. 
There is a similar design by Hard K called the Micron. The Micron is the scratch build version. The F0 is the modification of the Boron Zero, basically. So the F0 is uh, designed in a way that you'd require the minimum amount of part necessary to convert a Boron Zero to the F0. As I said, it's inspired by the Boron 2, which means it has the belt-driven four-point uh, gantry system. So the bed is completely stationary and the whole gantry is moving. And uh, yeah, the Micron and Micron does the same thing as well. And they're again, both tiny 3D printers. Again, the difference is this is a modification of the Voron Zero and this is a scratch build. So this is the GitHub page of the F-Zero. You can see that it's very similar to the Voron Zero in terms of the parts. And if you actually, uh, this picture doesn't show it very well, but actually uh, even the extrusions are the same. And then there are plastic parts designed to extend them to uh, fit the form factor allow the full range of motion that is so uh, even the extrusions are the same that's how close this is to the stock Voron Zero in terms of the bomb but as I said the Micron is a scratch build so every single part for this is intended for this build again means that it's the most optimal design but it also means that you won't be able to mod your Voron Zero into this and if you don't like this design you won't be able to go back to a Voron Zero so that's the disadvantage but um, yeah they they're both good uh, designs if you're interested in them. Uh, moving down the list, there is the Tri Zero. This is uh, basically a stock Voron Zero, but it has a three point belted bed leveling. So, again, inspired by the Trident, but also by the Voron, Zero, uh, Voron 2 as well. So, uh, yeah, it uses belts just like that and just like FPV Geeks mode for that uh, for the Voron Zero. But that mode is only cantilevered, just replaces the lead screw. This at 3 point pad leveling so again a mix of Boron Zero, Boron 2 and Boron Trident so this is also a very interesting mod in my opinion. If you move below the scratch builds part here you'll also see the barely bigger mini printers section so up to this point every single 3D printer here has been tiny and has used 1515 extrusions obviously the Boron Zero mods have to do that but the scratch builds here were also 1515 extrusion based the barely bigger mini printers, these are 2020 extrusion based, but they're still tiny as the name Tiny M and Tiny T imply. Tiny M is a larger Boron Zero. It's not a mod though, it's a scratch build. And um, yeah, you can find a lot of information plus a lot of community contributed mods since to my knowledge, this is the oldest printer in that list. So the most mature community. Uh, yeah, you can find a lot of information about this on the GitHub repository and in fact this is something I've started building but a heavily modified version that I've designed the Tiny M Doom or Tiny D or Doom M or keep changing the name but uh, yeah one of them is funny uh, yeah this is something I designed as well this is a mix between the Tiny M and the Doom Cube so it also adds insulation and this is a project I started a while ago and I will continue uh, as soon as I can once I receive it it's still on a ship somewhere waiting in a container but I'll definitely continue this when I can there is the Tiny T as well this is as the name implies just a tiny trident so 2020 extrusions but smaller so that's the only difference here uh, if you want a smaller trident well this is it and as I said it uses 2020 extrusions instead of 1515 which is actually a big plus in my mind because uh, 1515 extrusions especially the pre-inserted nuts are a big pain to deal with so I'm glad that uh, 2020 extrusions options for these tiny printers also exist but uh, yeah, for the tiniest form factor, you basically have to go with 1515, so I understand why most of these are based on that, plus the fact that the Voron Zero is based on 1515 as well, so the, the most for that have to be that. So uh, yeah, just wanted to cover these 3D printers, since I assume most of you actually haven't heard of these, since these are not official Voron designs, these are just... Uh, community designs usually just maintained by one person and a few testers basically so smaller scale projects but still really interesting and I'm sure some of these improvements will eventually make their way to the Voron printers as well but uh, yeah I hope you found this video interesting if you did please give me a like down below and thanks for watching